We are tired of district excuses. We are tired of district letters. We are tired of, we are investigating. What we want is consequences. Tech City Schools hit repeatedly with racist vandalism. <clears throat> Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Curtis May. Last Friday, someone wrote the words white and colored over water fountains here at McClatchy High School, obviously a reference to the Jim Crow era. Tonight, we're learning the district is disciplining the student involved, but it stopped short of calling it racial hatred or a hate crime. Now, the district hired someone to oversee race and equity, which includes investigating racial incidents. Mark Harris tells me a black female student confessed to the vandalism, and the investigation shows her on camera. He tells me the student said she did it as a prank. Now, this is a sensitive topic for so many because Sac City Unified School District has been plagued with racial incidents. The most recent includes students seeing several buildings at Abraham Lincoln Elementary School tagged with hate symbols and the N-word. The NAACP and community activists say they want to meet with the district to talk about how we can support black students through these events. Meanwhile, the district refers to the McClatchy incident as troubling vandalism. I don't believe that those words that were on those water fountains were racist. I do not believe they were hate crime or hate speech. Part of it, quite honestly, is because the admitted perpetrator is an African-American young woman. I disagree at it being a hate crime because at the end of the day, we understand when you have colored on one water faucet and white on another kind of water faucet, what that means, whether it's 1950 or 2022. However, some activists question the evidence citing mistrust of the district's handling of racism in the past. And I did ask if there had been any movement with the Abraham Lincoln case, and I've heard so far there's been no progress yet.